what's up you guys? I'm Caitlin from Leave Me Alone Plants and today, of course, what else is new? We have another box coming in the mail. Um, and if you clicked on the title of this video, then you probably know that this is our Horty Pots aeroponic system. Now, I started opening this box and I figured we might as well hop on a quick video to, um, you know, check out what's inside of here and just kind of explain to everybody what aeroponics is. I think what's really interesting is I never see people in the houseplant community talking about aeroponics. Um, it's a lot more popular in, um, I wouldn't say commercial, but like uh, people who grow edibles as well as people who grow cannabis. So um, its sole purpose is for cloning plants or propagating plants as it's more commonly referred to in the houseplant world and kind of the main benefit of going with an aeroponic system as opposed to um, you know just standard propagation in soil or water or moss or however you want to do it is it's for one it's going to speed up the process so rootings do um pardon me <laughs> cuttings do tend to take um roots a lot faster in these aeroponic systems. I'm sure there's science behind it. I'm sure there's scholarly articles that you could read on Google. I won't bore you with those details, nor could I speak to them anyway. Um, but an additional benefit is that you really avoid the issue of root rot, as instead of having your plants grow in a growing medium where they could potentially be introduced to you know bacteria and fungus and all those horrible things that cause your cuttings to rot instead basically your cuttings are going to be existing in air making sure that they're getting hundred percent of the full oxygen that they can be getting and they'll be supplemented with water by it being misted onto the roots so i will avoid getting into the science any deeper than that before i say something stupid i probably already have um and why don't we just get into unboxing this thing so I think it's like almost kind of funny that I would be uh, getting one of these because I think the ongoing joke on this channel is that I'm such a horrible property eater. But I actually have had one of these many years ago in the past, um, kind of before I got super into houseplants and it works super well and then I for some reason got rid of it, I stopped using it. Uh, but you know, I randomly had been seeing a video on them uh, by Kevin over at Epic Gardening and I thought, hey, why not we get another one today? So um, this top piece right here, of course, is just gonna be the humidity dome. You can get them without them. I opted for one with the humidity dome because of course here in Arizona, we don't got no humidity. So I didn't want my uh, cuttings getting crispy. I'm not really sure what this part is. Um, it's maybe to go with the humidity dome. And then um, with it, you get these neoprene collars. So basically how these are going to work, um, you have different color coded ones if you're you know, doing things that are kind of similar, but I plan on doing a bunch of different plants. But basically you pop this collar open and what you'll do is you'll place the stem in here. It'll have the leaves, of course, on the top and then this, the rest of the stem will come down. Um, and that's where it's going to get sprayed with water and that is where of course you know the roots are going to come out of so um, that's kind of you know what these little colors are for and the overall gist of how it works um, of course we have my one list of instructions like a little ikea project here i guess we'll be building this all up this afternoon um these little like sticky pads not sure what these are for box. Okay, so this piece right here, this is going to um, attach the air pump and then as you can see it has all these little spray heads on it and this is what is actually going to shoot the mist out to make sure that um, all at the bottom of the cuttings are actually getting water sent to them. This feels like it's the pump itself. And, yep, that's the pump. Um, so this is actually going to be completely submerged in the water and then of course, we have these. Um, this is the part that you are going to fill up with water. This is where the pump is going to go and the sprayers are going to go. And of course, it will be full of water to, uh, I guess, let the pump suck it up. And then the last piece that we have in here, of course, is this um, top section, which is where you're going to stick those neoprene colors. Let me grab them real quick. Um, they're just going to pop right in here, right in. Here, if I can get them to go on, they're just gonna pop right in there like that, and then, like I said, um, of course, it'll be this way, and the um, cuttings will just go up in here, and that will 
be where they live for uh, you know the next couple weeks until they root up. So um, this is one of the many options that there are on Amazon. There's a bunch of different choices. They all look approximately the same. Um, one of the complaints that people had mentioned with this one as opposed to some other models was that uh, they felt that the slots for the neoprene collars were too close to each other. However, I got the 32 um, site models, so I figured the chances of me propagating 32 plants at once are probably pretty low, so I was okay with them being close to each other. I can just leave rows in between. Um, but overall, in terms of quality, I think it's, you know, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Of course, I will do an updated review on this once we have some things in here propagating up. Um, Additionally, if you don't want to buy these on Amazon, then you can actually um, build them yourself. Basically, uh, you just get a five gallon drum, you drill some holes in the top, you stick them. Um, either you can buy these little new pre collars on Amazon as well, just separately, or I've seen people do it with like pool noodles. Um, so you can build your own, you know, go to the fish, the pet store in the, in the fish section. I'm sure they have air pumps there. And uh, basically you're good to go. It's pretty simple, pretty easy to make. Honestly, I'm just not a very handy person, so I didn't want to be bothered with it making my own. But if you um, are interested in this model, then I will link it down below. You can grab all this stuff on Amazon. It's all, of course, in one easy, simple set, so you're basically good to go when it shows up. Um, one other thing that you can opt to get with it is the rooting gel. So, not mandatory. I know some people will, you know, talk about if rooting gels actually work or if they're kind of just like this conspiracy and they don't work at all. Um, you know, they're pretty cheap, so I figured we might as well pop a rooting gel on those cuttings as well to hopefully promote that root growth to come out a lot faster. And yeah, if you thought this video was interesting, helpful, or if you plan on getting one of these or have one of these, please comment down below and let me know because I'd be curious to know what your experience has been with them. Of course, don't forget to give this video a like, hit that subscribe button if you want to see an update on how this guy works or any of those other videos. Don't forget to go check those out before you hop onto somebody else's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.